Johnny, get your gun, get your gun, get your gun. Take it on the run, on the run, on the run. Hear them calling you. Hello, and welcome to Frontline Rejects. If you're a returning viewer, glad to see you again. If you're a new viewer, we're very happy to have you joining us. First things first, we'd really appreciate it if you could help us out by hitting that like or subscribe button. Now that that's taken care of, let's get into some expansion testing. The round that we'll be testing today is Hornady's 458 diameter Monoflex in 250 grains. This round is an all copper monolithic bullet designed for use in lever guns at medium to long ranges. We've got it loaded up in 458 SOCOM for our BCA AR-15 and with a 16 inch barrel we should be seeing a little bit over 1900 FPS. This is the first time we've tested any bullets in this chambering and we're very excited to see how the Monoflex does. So let's get started. If you'd like to connect with us, you can find us on Getter at Frontline Reject or on Gab at Frontline Rejects. Or drop us an email at FrontlineRejects at gmail.com. Try not to skip this one in. Try not to skip it in? Yeah, try not to. I'll see what I can do, Mom. <laughs> I need some ibuprofen. <laughs> You're gonna need an ice pad. Did I hit it? Out. Got a blade of grass in the way. If I miss, I'm gonna blame it on that. I'm pretty sure 300 grains is not gonna care about blade of grass. 250, 250, 250. 250 grains. I'm sorry. So the Hornady Monoflex. This bullet has a really cool design, which we can see pretty clearly in the 50 yard impact. At 50, we see the pedals pulled back perfectly even about halfway down the shank. Really just beautiful expansion. At 100, we still have very good even expansion. And incidentally, we found the plastic tip as well, which we thought was kind of cool, so we included it in the picture. At 150, the velocity begins to drop and we see a dramatic decrease in the amount of expansion. This is evidenced again at the 200. And the 250 looks almost indistinguishable from the 200. Very little expansion at range. Looking at our handy dandy graphs, we have very accurate numerical representations of what we can see in the photos. Expansion is good out to 100, and then drops off drastically after that. Including all five ranges fired, we had an average expansion of 1.5 times original size, and weight retention is extremely even across all ranges, whether or not there was good or poor expansion. I think this is indicative of a fairly hard alloy being used in the construction of this round. No matter how much it opened up, it never lost a statistically relevant amount of weight. This gives us average weight retention of 97.7%, and Hornady advertises that the Monoflex retains 95%. Now, I haven't found an advertised figure for expansion on Hornady's website, but I'd really like to see closer to two times original size, and Hornady does mention that this round is great for mid to long range lever gun situations. We achieved close to two times expansion at the 50 and 100, but not so much past that. Given that this round is designed for a 4570 lever gun, I'm going to make the assumption that mid to long range with that cartridge is 100 to 200 yards. I do have a lever action Marlin in 4570, and when using it, I do consider to be 200 to be about my max effective range. What that means is that my expectation is that this round should expand effectively at 200 yards, which we aren't seeing. Add that our weight retention is slightly above the advertised amount, and the conclusion I draw is that our velocity is too low. When loading these rounds, we checked several sources of load data, and we used a max charge of the fastest powder that gave us the highest projected velocity. 
Our chrono velocity of 1929 was a bit lower than the book data, but that was to be expected as our barrel length was shorter than the test barrel used for the loading data. Now I have compared book values for what I could expect in my Marlin guide gun, which has a 16 and a half inch barrel, and our AR has a 16 inch barrel, and the figures are extremely similar. What I'm getting at is this is a great round, and it may give very good results out to 200 yards in a gun with a longer barrel, say 22 or 24 inches, which would help pump that velocity up. If you are planning on using this bullet, load development is key, if you plan on using it in a platform with a shorter barrel, it may be a good idea to keep your shots to under 100 yards. All that said, I wouldn't want to get hit with this thing at any range. We had a real hoot testing the 458 SOCOM, and we hope to bring you more expansion tests with bullets in this chambering in the future. So if you want to see those, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the content, consider hitting the like button as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.